What's going on guys? My name is Brandon Desjardins and as some of you might be aware, I recently started riding for Paris Trutco. Homies at Riptide, they found out and they're like, yo, let's hook you up with a bunch of bushings, see what you like and what types of recommendations you might be able to give to other people. So I'm making this video basically to help people out that know their trucks can feel better, but really just don't know where to start with bushings. And I get it, like there's a lot of different shapes, formulas, sizes, whole bunch of stuff to uh, take into consideration. Um, in my experience, the Paris V3 feel great. Like brand new, they feel great. Um, but like most uh, stock bushings and pivot cups, uh, they tend to get a little squeaky and a little stiff over time. First thing I always do to upgrade any of my trucks is I get these uh, yeah, Paris Riptide WFB pivot cups. They make them in plenty of different uh, for, for plenty of different trucks, so just make sure you get the ones that match your truck. Basically what these do is they've got like a self-lubricating um, urethane, and so it's just gonna make your ride really secure, but really fluid and loose, no squeaking. Um, and then yeah, so let's just start off with kind of the basics of the different shapes I'm gonna be riding. First shape is a Canon, which is Riptide's version of a slightly bigger barrel. These were developed for bushing seats like Era and Paris where you need something a little bit bigger than a traditional barrel to fill the seat. Second bushing is a cone. So cones are used if you want a little bit more flexibility, little, um, little more liveliness in your ride, a little more range of motion maybe. Uh, third bushing we're gonna be testing is the, uh, geez, what is this called? The Magnum. The third bushing we're gonna be testing is the Magnum. And this, if you see in comparison to the Canon, is a meaty, meaty barrel type bushing. Uh, the reason for this, it was designed specifically for Paris because the Paris seat is pretty wide open, pretty big. The Magnum fits in there really nice and just secures the whole ride. If we take a Canon, for example, or any normal type barrel, you'll notice that it like wiggles around a little bit. Take a cone, wiggles around a little bit. It's not always a bad thing and oftentimes having like this little bit of wiggle can make your ride a little bit more effortless or give a, give a little quicker center. Um, but if you're looking for something more secure, something like the Magnum is probably going to be the way to go. So uh, yeah, I'm stoked to get on the hill, try all these out and uh, kind of let you guys know what's up, what I think and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys find some value in it. Let me know. Cheers. Here we are, Bush Park, Salem, Oregon. Um, decided to start off with the pink APS from Riptide. So I got cannons on bottom, cones on top, uh, all cupped washers. And the reason I want to start with this is because it's probably going to give a similar feel to like what the stock bushings feel like. It's not really hard, it's not really soft, barrel cone. So uh, yeah, let's see how this feels. All right, so after my first couple runs on the, uh, the APS formula, uh, I feel like it was a little stiff. The center was really stable and secure, um, but yeah, just not exactly what I'm looking for. So next I'm gonna try the crank in 87A, similar Duro to uh, kind of see uh, what that's like and just compare the two formulas. Hey, so to give you guys a little perspective, I'm about 160 pounds. Um, right now I'm riding the Moonshine Jeff Corsi Hoedown, Paris V3s, of course, um, and then the Pau Peralta Dragon Skin Wheels. Um, what I like about the Hoedown especially is it's a big, wide deck, but uh, comparable to like other decks this size, it's much, much lighter. And then having the urethane rail makes it like super durable and waterproof. All right, so I just swapped out the uh, bottom bushing, that Canon for the Magnum, the really big, beefy, meaty bushing. Uh, but I wanted to take this time to tell you like 
how much you should be tightening your trucks optimally with the bushings you have. So one uh, trick that Brad from Riptide told me is you wanna loosen your trucks until you can barely spin this washer. Not the nut, we're not crazy people, but the washer, so you can barely spin that. And then from there, you're gonna wanna tighten a little bit more. Okay, I can still spin it a little bit more. Can't spin it with my fingers. And from there you go one half turn. Fortunately, Paris Trucks is basically genius and they made it so that if you're using a bottom washer and a top washer, like you should be, um, this kingpin is gonna be perfectly flat with the nut. So uh, yeah, let's give these magnums a try. Yo. So what I noticed so far about the Magnums is that compared to the Cannons, it has like a much stiffer, more like stable center, but having the cone on top, you still get like that nice range of motion. So if you're interested in having like a really secure center, but want to still have that dive right at the end, this is probably the setup for you. Again, all crank 87A. Yeah, not really feeling that. Little too stiff, but um, let's try the same thing. 90A, Magnum bottom, cone top, 87A. Right now it's in Craig. Let's do an APS too, that feels like. I've always been more of a fan of APS. I feel like it uh, just feels like more natural to me. Crank's really cool, because it's got this super gushy, um, responsive feel. Uh, but yeah, let's try APS and then see what we think. Definitely a little too stiff. All right, so I'm starting to feel pretty good. Just swapped out the 85A APS cone for 84A crank cone. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see how this works. It's starting to look good. The light's looking good. The hill's looking good. We're out here, sell social distancing with the camera. But yeah, let's get it. All right, so it's feeling pretty good overall. Uh, right now, I feel like I've got a really good solid center. Turns deep. Um, what I'm gonna try next is going back to the APS cone on top, and then I'm gonna go for the cannon on bottom. Right now, I've got this big magnum bushing, which is cool, because it keeps me super supported, but I feel like sometimes my steps are a little bit delayed. Like I have to put weight into it, and then it starts going. Part of that's my flexi board, but uh, part of that is also just having so much urethane, so. Try it out. So right here, this is the Magnum bushing from Riptide, and here's the Canon, just to show you kind of what's up there. Basically, the Magnum is the same as the Canon, but it's got a little bit of extra meat in there, so as you're turning, it just really stiffens up. Um, again, I'm gonna go swap these out, throw the Canons in there, boom, see if I can get a little more flexibility, and then um, we're gonna go with the Blues back on top.
right guys, so hey, feeling pretty good about this ride. Last setup was the 90A APS cone on, or sorry, well, 90A APS cannon on bottom, uh, 85A APS cone on top. Uh, I was riding the Magnums for quite a while, but I felt like overall the Magnum wall had a really stable ride. For my style personally, I like a little bit more flexibility in the middle. So I went with the Canon. Um, the reason I chose APS formula is because I felt like crank was really gushy and really plush, but it didn't uh, stiffen up at the end in a way that was comfortable for me. If you're going for something like really just plush, would recommend crank. APS seemed to have a little bit softer of a center that would stiffen up and kind of spring back, which I like for my dancing style. Um, but yeah, um, I know at times it was a bit of a ramble, but hope you guys found some value in it. Um, anyways, shoot me a comment or a message anytime. I'd love to help you guys out. Cheers.